that the chicken soup that you are eating is not just a meal but is also a potential medicine a potential medicine which helps you fight against the common cold flu and other viral infections it helps reduce the symptoms of common cold and flu which are nasal congestion and stuffy nose so now let us just understand the science behind how we claim that chicken soup is not just a meal but is a proper potential medicine so the chicken soup decreases the activity of neutrophils and wbcs so basically this is a anti inflammatory reaction what it does is it reduces the formation of mucus the thick mucus that is formed in common cold and flu it reduces that what happens in normal scenario the neutrophils and wbcs neutrophils are basically a type of white blood cells which fight against the infection and they travel across the nasal mucosa and when that happens lot of mucus is generated this is a inflammatory reaction chicken soup reduces this inflammatory reaction so hence your nasal congestion and stuffy nose is reduced what apart from this chicken soup does is it thins out the mucus that is already existing in the nasal congestion so what happens during the thinning of the mucus the virus is not able to stay within that mucus and enter the body hence it helps reduce the infection from the virus as well so apart from this the chicken soup also has an amino acid which is basically a protein amino acids make up protein so chicken soup has an amino acid which helps build antibodies which fight against infection chicken soup also has vitamin a c phosphorus magnesium and other minerals which are basically antioxidants and this antioxidant property gives the ability to increase the immunity of the body so hence building immunity of your body chicken soup also has selenium which is good for your heart so it has an essential micronutrient which is selenium which is good for your heart and lastly chicken soup also has sodium which helps you keep hydrated so hydration is important for your body in all kinds of in infection and chicken soup has sodium which helps maintain your electrolyte balance and helps keep you hydrated though there is a disclaimer that if someone is hypertensive or already having a cardiac illness they should avoid adding salt to that chicken soup or should be careful because there is already sodium within that chicken soup so i explained you through six medical science reasons the science behind the chicken soup and hence proved you that chicken soup is not just a meal that you are having it is a medicine and that is the reason why age old people in the ages chicken soup has been in existence for like thousands of years and hence when they even when there were no medicines people were getting cured from normal infections very easily because we had these normal standard food acting as medicines and people had the knowledge about it the science behind it and they used to use it which in today's scenario we don't potentially try to use them we try to consume more medicines but we should realize that a normal food may also act as a medicine sometimes so friends if you liked my video it was a very short video please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video thank you